connected. Just recording a video of the building. Um, there you go, as you can see, this is the outside. As you can see, there's a big round sign, Short Start Echo Children's Center. Um, ideas on a postcard for what we should name it. Um, together Church, I don't know, Upton Hub, or who knows, have a, have a think. Um, need a big round sign. So this is then coming down the side passage, um, coming through the gate. Um, Greg and Becky's house next door. Um, this is the side passage, so this is all under shelter, under cover. This is an entrance door here. Um, this here is another entrance door. And um, we're just coming into the hall. This is quite a large kind of lobby area, which is quite handy, lots of covered space, electrics and stuff in there. Um, they obviously did have a reception desk here, hence the telephone on the wall, and a little heater there. So. It's kind of a large lobby area and then there's kind of two distinct parts of the building. So up there is to kind of an office area and um, rooms for ministries and then up here into kind of the main, what was the old St. James Parish Church and then toilets in between. Let me take you down here first. So if I take you along here, this looks like a corridor, but this is all one big hall. Okay, so I'm coming down a corridor. This on my right hand side. Um, is a partition wall, so this could easily be removed where my hand is there if we wanted to. I'm, we're, we're very much not sure what the right thing to do is yet. And then this is the front, so we're back at the front door here. So this was the old front door of the um, original St. James Parish Church um, here. So it's now turned into a cupboard. Um, I'll just show you. So that, that is the... What well, again, we could reopen that as a front door. I don't know. So um, then just here is where I was preaching from on Sunday, our first church meeting in um, the Echo Center. Um, Greg was right behind me, so doing all the recording um, at an appropriate distance. Obviously at the moment, here's a kitchen area. And then this is the, the rest of that um, partition wall that's gone up. So that's how the Children's Center obviously set it up. So. Again, again, this is all just quite flimsy partition wall. Um, if we wanted one big hall, we'd have to take the, that wall there and that wall there out. Um, that would open it up. Um, just coming in, this, so this is the, the rest of the main hall, as it were. Um, and you've got another sort of little kitchenette area there. Um, there's the old bell tower sort of area, just storage at the top. Um, you've got lots of storage, okay, so here's just storage cupboard in here. Um, there's a men's toilet here. We probably will reconfigure the toilets just so they're not um, adjacent to the main hall. Um, and then coming back out, so that's the main hall area. You've got another toilet here. So this is the disabled toilet and baby change, which just needs a bit of, bit of love. Coming around the corner here, Oh no, sorry, this is the disabled toilet. So that was just the toilet, ladies' toilet, I guess. A disabled toilet here. And then hidden around the back here, we've got an office. So a little office here. Um, I'm wondering if we make all the toilets a little bit bigger, a bit more accessible, and use that office space to make really good accessible toilets that all come into the main welcome lobby area. Um, little covered storage space down here. Um, cupboard, cupboard, cupboards everywhere, another cupboard even up there, nice and high, and then going up to the second part of the building. Um, this is just a space um, at the moment. I, I don't know whether we close this section off into another little office in front of me. It's, it's actually quite a decent space. Um, here is a, a big office space, fairly decent sized office space, big cupboard. Um, who knows, I might hide away in there, we will see. <clears throat> and then down the corridor here, we have another office space. Uh, this one's bigger than the other one. Um, skylight. Um, yeah, decent size. And then here we have a a kind of more of a classroom size. Um, probably, this would be nice to keep this probably more as a ministry room rather than an office. If we, you know, um, be great for kids and youth and um, prayer room and I don't know for 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 all sorts really. I, as I say, send your ideas, send your thoughts. This is um, be be nice when we can all have a look round together. 
Um, coming off the back here, just to show you, um, down the side, there's kind of a little bit of an out, just a side out door passage, obviously when it's a short start center. Um, down the side here, they use this as a little bit of a play area. Um, so sand and, and the like, and then the main hall's just back in there. So that's it, I think, guys. I hope that's a helpful little tour. Um, yeah, obviously it'd be much nicer when you can see it in person, but I hope that helps you for now. Um, be praying, be um, praying and excited about what ways God can use us in this. We're um, at the moment working hard to get the building up and running up to speed and then going to speak to the council about how we can be a blessing in the current um, season um, in the, uh, once we've got the building up to speed. So, yeah, do be praying, be thinking. Um, be dreaming. Um, God is good. And um, yeah, catch you all soon. Thanks, guys.